What if the real threat beneath Naples isn't a sea of magma rising to the surface, but something far more unpredictable and silent? What if the ground you walk on every day is slowly turning into a massive pressure bomb fueled not by fire, but by water seeping down from the sky? And what if five brand new scientific studies have just revealed that everything we thought we knew about Campi Flegre was only half the story? Could this restless caldera be hiding a danger no one saw coming? Are we standing on the edge of a geological chain reaction that scientists are only now beginning to understand? Recent research casts a chilling new light on what is really happening under one of the most densely populated volcanic regions on Earth. The threat is not a river of magma pushing upward, but something far more insidious and harder to predict. Five groundbreaking studies published between 2024 and 2025 converge to expose a hidden system that challenges decades of volcanic theory and raises urgent questions for the more than one and a half million people living atop the Campi Flegre caldera in Italy's Naples region. In May 2025, scientists at Stanford's Doerr School revealed, in Science Advances, that the ongoing swarms of earthquakes and slow rising of the caldera floor are not powered by magma or volcanic gases. Instead, they are driven by rising pressure in a sealed geothermal reservoir located beneath the town of Pozzuoli. Rainfall and groundwater percolate downward, recharge the reservoir, and over time crack-heeled caprock seals it into a closed vessel. Pressure builds without magma intrusion and eventually releases via uplift and quake swarms. The researchers propose that managing groundwater levels or redirecting runoff could reduce that pressure and stabilize the system. That is seismic unrest controlled by hydrology, not molten rock. At the same time, an international team published in Nature Communications a high-resolution 3D seismic imaging study that maps the caldera in unprecedented detail down to a grid size of 250 meters. Their tomographic models reveal three key layers, a fibrous ductile caprock at around 1 to 2 kilometers depth, a gas-rich reservoir filled with water and steam at 2 to 4 kilometers depth, and a dense basement below 3.5 kilometers. No evidence was found for new magma rising into the upper crust. Instead, the images show zones of fluid migration and pressure buildup beneath the cap rock. The picture painted is not of boiling molten magma, but of a sealed, overpressurized space that's cracking the crust above. Another recent study in scientific reports delivers a statistical seismic analysis through 3D tomography of the B value, a parameter that describes earthquake magnitude distribution. The researchers compared two phases of unrest, 1982 to 84 and 2005 to 2024. They found that the later period has slower uplift, but higher fluctuations in shallow B values. High values correlate with high fluid pressure zones, while low B values point to stress concentration areas, especially beneath Pozzuoli Harbour and Picciarelli. This B-value mapping aligns tightly with the structure of the hydrothermal system, reinforcing the idea that fluid pressure and sealed caprock, not magma, are driving seismicity. Meanwhile, Godano and colleagues introduced a new non-linear epidemic model in March 2025. It simulates how ground deformation triggers earthquake swarms in cascading clusters, uplift compresses rocks, increases pressure, and generates initial tremors. These quake clusters suddenly accelerate as each shock redistributes stress, triggering more quakes in a rapid chain reaction. This non-linear dynamic explains the burst-like pattern of swarms seen in recent years and offers a conceptual framework that may apply to volcanic areas worldwide. A fifth major finding comes from a recent AGU-published study identifying weak damaged crust layers in the upper 0 to 4 km zone beneath the caldera. This crustal damage arises from past magmatic intrusions and hydrothermal alteration and is likely a key factor enabling Brady seismic phenomena, slow uplift and sinking of the caldera floor along with seismic swarms. The weak layer acts like a pressure valve, a zone of mechanical failure that responds dramatically to small additions of water or steam pressure. Together, these five studies paint a terrifyingly coherent image, a sealed geothermal reservoir acting like a kettle beneath Naples, a crust able to crack under pressure but not because magma is weakening or rising. 
seismic quakes triggered by fluid pressure pulses and cascading stress, and a faulted, fragile crust that amplifies the reaction. That is why it's not magma. It's much worse because the unfolding crisis is subtle, hidden, and perhaps controllable, yet potentially more volatile than magma ascent. Emotionally, this lands like a slow burn. Up to one and a half million people live atop this caldera. Urban sprawl squares more than 15 kilometers wide intersect it, and yet the danger is not in bright lava flows, but in invisible pressure creeping upward under groundwater recharge. It is the water cycle meeting ancient rock that may unleash seismic chaos. It is slow but relentless. It is also surprising. The old model of volcanic threat emphasized boiling magma, increasing gas emissions, volcanic tremor, heat flux. But these newer studies say the kettle is hidden, sealed and powered by rain and rock repairing itself with mineral fibers. The caprock healing in lab experiments, like a self-sealing mocha pot, sounds almost benign, but instead traps pressure until it bursts. That is how cracks form, how swarms accelerate, how the rational world bends beneath routine rainstorms. The deeper we go into this, the more the pieces fit together and yet unsettle anyone who reads the data. Campi Flegre is not erupting and may not for decades, but its behaviour is now understood as a complex dialogue between rock, water and pressure that could shift dramatically without warning. It is this uncertainty that makes the findings so gripping. Satellite INSAR data combined with GNSS ground measurements show that the caldera floor has risen more than 100 centimetres, roughly 3.3 feet since 2005. This uplift is not uniform. Hotspots under Pozzuoli and Pisciarelli correlate with the shallowest B-value anomalies and the locations of recent earthquake swarms. The Stanford team's model explains that this is what happens when a sealed hydrothermal system is recharged faster than it can release pressure. When rainwater and surface runoff infiltrate and descend to depths of around 3 kilometers or 1.8 miles, it encounters rock layers sealed by mineral deposition from earlier heating. Over the years, the reservoir becomes a pressure bomb. The crust doesn't need magma to move. It needs trapped fluids, superheated steam, and a rock cap that doesn't give until the stress is unbearable. One of the more alarming discoveries from the high-resolution seismic imaging is the lateral extent of the gas-charged reservoir. It stretches several kilometers across, from the Solfatara area under Pisciarelli to beneath the town of Pozzuoli. The steam phase is dominant, which means any sudden decompression could flash convert water into steam and drive powerful ground motion. This reservoir sits only about 2 kilometers, 1.2 miles, below the surface in some places, alarmingly shallow for such an overpressurized system. This fits with laboratory simulations showing that steam water mixtures in confined rock volumes can drive rapid fracturing events even without magma. The B-value mapping adds another emotional note. Areas of very low B-values at shallow depth indicate zones of concentrated stress accumulation. These patches are effectively crustal time bombs where one moderate quake could redistribute stress into a burst of aftershocks and potentially fracture caprock. That aligns with the burst-like swarm patterns documented by the Italian National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology. These swarms feature dozens of microquakes firing off in seconds like a popcorn pan of seismicity. Each of these bursts is a warning of brittle crust responding to pressure in small, violent jumps. The nonlinear epidemic model gives a chilling mathematical explanation to what we witness on seismographs. Small uplifts of a few millimetres per month at the surface, translating into cumulative centimetres over a year, load stress into the shallow crust. An initial quake cluster triggers others in a cascading way, not a smooth escalation. It is a domino chain underground where each tile is a fault segment lubricated by hot water and steam. In this way, the swarms of 2021 to 2024 can be seen as both warning and data set, a record of a system testing its limits. The weak upper crust identified in the AGU study is the structural stage upon which this drama plays out. Hydrothermal alteration has turned strong rock into a sponge of fractured mineral-coated pathways. Past eruptions and intrusions damaged it, 
and centuries of hydrothermal circulation have continued the weakening. A healthy crust would absorb pressure without breaking often. This crust cracks with ease, producing the dense clusters of magnitude 2 to 3 earthquakes that locals have felt more frequently since 2021. Although none of these quakes has caused major damage, the psychological effect is immense. Each tremor echoes with the memory of 1983 to 84, when tens of thousands were evacuated during the last major unrest phase. For those living in the caldera, the numbers are not abstract. A magnitude 3.5 quake at two kilometers depth shakes Pozzuoli's streets and wakes Naples residents, uplift cracks sidewalks and tilts buildings millimeter by millimeter. The connection between a rainy winter and a busier seismic spring is now more than anecdotal. It is quantified in the Stanford water pressure model. It reframes how hazard managers think maybe mitigating risk is not about watching magma, but managing hydrology. Emotionally, the thought that rainfall could be a trigger feels almost mundane until you imagine millions of cubic meters of water quietly infiltrating and fueling a pressure cooker beneath one of the most densely populated volcanic areas on Earth. Naples, with over three million people in the metropolitan area, is intertwined with Campi Flegre's geology. The line between everyday life and geologic forces is thin. Despite the fear factor, these studies also carry hope. If pressure is truly the key driver, and if surface water is a major contributor, then perhaps human intervention can play a role in risk mitigation. Controlling infiltration, managing drainage, and monitoring groundwater could buy precious time and stabilize the system. It is an extraordinary idea that civil engineering could cool the temper of a restless caldera. Yet the emotional core of the story remains this. The threat is not spectacular lava fountains, but invisible, slow, relentless pressure beneath your feet. A natural system operating on timescales of seasons and decades, yet capable of changing in days. The shift from bending to cracking, as some scientists call it, is what keeps volcanologists awake. When rock that once flexed starts to fracture, energy is being stored and released in a new mode. It may stay in this state for years, or not. All five studies converge into a picture both scientifically rich and emotionally powerful. They show us that Campi Flegre is not a monster stirring with magma, but a complex, pressurized hydrothermal system locked beneath fragile rock. They reveal a caldera that breathes with water, pressure and fracture, rather than fire and molten rock. That knowledge shifts the narrative from fiery catastrophe to a subtler but no less dangerous hazard, one that might be managed but never ignored. In this context, the phrase, it's not magma, it's much worse, is not hyperbole. Magma movement leaves signals volcanologists know how to read, rising seismicity at depth, harmonic tremor, volcanic gas composition changes and heat surges. A hydrothermal system under pressure is more unpredictable. It can trigger seismic swarms without warning and crack the crust suddenly. It can remain pressurized for years, decades, or bleed off slowly. The danger lies in the hidden nature of the mechanism and the density of human life above it. More than one and a half million people live inside the caldera and over three million in the greater Naples area. Ancient Roman ruins stand beside apartment buildings. Solfatara's steaming vents lie meters away from busy streets. It is an uneasy coexistence of humanity and geology. These new findings underscore the need for constant monitoring. INSAR satellites, GPS ground sensors, seismic arrays and gas emission networks are the eyes and ears watching this restless ground. The data are not just numbers for scientists, but lifelines for civil defense. Each millimeter of uplift, each cluster of magnitude 2 earthquakes, each subtle shift in steam chemistry informs risk assessment. When the ground cracked under Pozzuoli on June 30th, 2025, with a magnitude 4.6 quake, the largest in 40 years, these networks captured every second. It was both a warning and a validation of the models showing crustal stress reaching new thresholds. For the people of Naples and Pozzuoli, the science and the emotion intertwine. They live with the tremors, they remember past evacuations, they see the ground tilt. These studies give them answers but also raise new questions. Could water management truly mitigate risk? Could sealing or draining certain areas reduce pressure? What would happen if the caprock failed suddenly? 
No one wants to find out, yet preparing for that possibility is exactly what these results demand. The emotional weight of Campi Flegre is unique because it is not an isolated volcano. It is a caldera encompassing towns, roads, harbours and lives. The 1538 Monte Nuovo eruption was small geologically but displaced communities and reshaped the landscape. Now imagine that kind of unrest on a larger scale in a modern urban environment. These studies do not predict imminent eruption, but they highlight the razor's edge on which this system balances. Scientists often speak with caution to avoid unnecessary alarm, yet the tone of these papers carries urgency. The phrase bending to cracking recurs in interviews and abstracts. It reflects a mechanical transition in the crust that can precede larger seismic or eruptive activity. It may also simply be the new normal of a hydrothermal system adjusting. The truth is, we are watching in real time and learning as the ground speaks in quakes and uplift. As viewers and readers, you are part of this unfolding narrative. Awareness is a form of preparedness. Sharing accurate, scientifically grounded information combats fear and rumour. It helps communities understand their risk and demand proper monitoring and planning. The emotional engagement is not about panic, but about respect for the forces under our feet and the scientists working tirelessly to understand them. If you have been captivated by the mystery beneath Naples and the revelations of these five studies, now is the time to help spread the word. Like this video to boost its reach so more people learn the truth about Campi Flegre. Share it with friends and family to keep the conversation alive and grounded in science. And subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into the world's most fascinating and sometimes frightening natural phenomena. Together we can turn curiosity into knowledge and knowledge into preparedness. The ground under Campi Flegre is shifting, cracking and breathing. The mystery is no longer locked away in the dark. We are unlocking it piece by piece with science, vigilance and storytelling. Stay informed, stay curious and remember that sometimes the most powerful forces are not the ones you can see, but the ones quietly building beneath your feet.